So a while back, we did an episode about cheap versus expensive tights. And a lot of you loved that episode. So in today's episode, we're going to be talking about sports bras. And because women don't all have the same chest size and physique, I've decided to invite a special guest on today's episode. And she's none other than Jam from Hype Hi. Hi. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming on the show. So I follow you on Instagram and I see that you actually work out quite a lot. So I'm very sure that you're someone who knows a thing or two about sports bras. So I won't say that I know like a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. I just know what feels good for me. I'm like quite a casual workout person in a sense. Like I work out and I eat nuggets. So not like a fitness <laughs> guru. <laughs> All right. So what is something that you look forward when you buy sports bras? So when I choose them, I tend to go for things that are like tighter mm -hmm. and that have like good support. For me, when I try on a sports bra, I just jump around a bit and if it hurts, I don't buy it. I think that's a really good test, you know. Yeah. I would call it like a jumping jack test actually. Yeah, yeah. It really depends also on your lifestyle, what kind of training that you're into. So if you do something that's like high impact, a lot of jumping, a lot of running, you do want to make sure you have like that support to mm. keep it up and together and not like flailing everywhere. <laughs> so a lot of you might not know this, but I actually used to be really flat chested, you know. Like if this was my chest, then like this is my nipple. Like, I was so flat chested and it was just something that I've always, always been like insecure about just growing up. So I saved up and I was 20, I actually got a boob job. Sometimes I do question my reasons for getting it done because now I realise that a healthy body is a healthy body and it really doesn't matter the size of your boobs. If you're strong, you love your body, then that's the most important thing. And I also think that you know if you just are happy and you decide that you want to do it, I think that's totally within your right to do it. So actually I have a question. You've always been working out, right? Mm -hmm. So has it changed like the way you work out? When I was like flat chested, I didn't even have to wear a, a bra. Like, like I could just wear a t-shirt and mm -hmm. it'd be completely fine. When I buy sports bras nowadays, um, I look for things that definitely have more support in the mm -hmm. bra. So we're gonna start off first with the cheap category of sports bras. So I got this sports bra from Taobao and I think it was around like $10. What does it say? Dance to your own rhythm. Wow, it's so inspirational. Yeah, I love it. I, I feel that a lot of these like Taobao uh, sports bras, right? They all have all these like words like peace, love, workout, something like that. Peace, love, sweat. Or, I, yeah, 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 I, I'm quite I like it. I think, yeah, it's, I think, it's, I think it's interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so comfort-wise, this material is really soft. And also the elastic band is also not too hard. So it doesn't like dig into your skin. And because the elastic is pretty thick, it does give you like that push and that, you know, lift. The only thing I have with cheap sports bras is really like the padding because the padding is very thin. And when you are wearing the bra, you can somewhat like see the padding push through the bra, which can look a bit vulgar to be very honest. So when dealing with cheap sports bras, the best thing to do is to take out the padding because you know, if you wash it with the, with the padding, the padding tends to fold and then you kind of have to like dig in and like, you know, firm it out. I would personally not run in this. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, I would probably just do more like low impact work if I'm weight training the gym, maybe doing Pilates. So if you are like buying for the first time from like say Taobao, right, mm -hmm. where you can't try it on, mm -hmm. um, how do you decide that this is the one you want and you're gonna buy like two at one go? Try to look for things that have a thicker strength Something with like elastic straps or like that just generally thicker, they give you much better support than if you were to get something thin like this. I Can I show you my cheap bra? Can you make a guess like how much this costs? I bought this like in the States when I was there. Um, was from it like Old a fashion outlet? From Old Navy. No, no, not fashion outlet, just oh. on the street. Mm. Guess how much it costs? Maybe like 10, 12, 15? Mm, good guess. Divided by four. I got it for three dollars. Oh my god! Seriously, that's know, even cheaper right? than my Taobao. So actually, right, the auntie in me is really happy about this buy. So I mean, I got it on sale, but if you go to Old Navy, the regular price rack is like maybe fifteen, twenty dollars. But I must say that in the US, every shop always has a sale rack. But as you can tell, it's such a cheap bra that there isn't even like a pocket for you to put a padding in. When I bought it, I wasn't really like someone who worked out that regularly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would just like potate around and then once in a while go, I feel unhealthy, I'm gonna go for a run. So obviously if you don't work out regularly, you don't even really think about these things. And then over the past like year, so working out more regularly, then when I wore this and I was doing jumping, I was like, why is everything so painful? So I mean, I would definitely wouldn't wear it to do cardio. I made the mistake of doing that once mm -hmm. and it was so painful that I was actually like hugging myself and jumping. And actually like before you mentioned the thing about straps, it never occurred to me. Mm -hmm. So yes, this is a very thin strap. I was like, 
Oh, because mm-hmm. I realised that actually my good support sports bras do have thicker straps. Thicker I just, straps. I just never made the connection. So actually, the actual construction of the bra, the straps and the thickness of the straps actually gives you the support. In terms of the sweat management, how do you find your sports bra? It's not great, but I think that's also like common sense. Like, you know, it's like, you feel it as like cotton. It's not like the nice mm-hmm. premium material. Mm-hmm. So if it's wet, it's just going to soak it up. Okay, so for mid-range bras, we're going to look at bras that cost anywhere from $20 to $50. I just have like one. This one's from Uiga? I don't know how to pronounce Uiga. it. Uiga. It's the Uiga. one that just basically like copy other brands. It's a slightly questionable business model. They say that they have the same manufacturer as Lululemon. Oh. I actually think for $30, it's really? like a really good bra because look at the padding. It's oh, yeah. sewn in, so it will never move around. I wouldn't say the support is like the best bra I've ever used, but uh, for $30, it's definitely way more than decent. Definitely. And you know with the detailing in the back, this material is actually really soft. It's almost like seamless. And I definitely think the fit is like pretty good. It's like snug. As you can tell, the straps are very thick. Mm-hmm. So it feels like it's holding everything together. Mm-hmm. It's definitely something you can do serious high impact workouts with. The only thing is, you know, with any kind of bra with good support, you need to snug, right? So when you work out, you got to work out to like 95%. Mm-hmm. And the last 5% of your energy is going to the toilet and trying to take off the bra. <sighs> taking off your sports bra is a whole work out on its own. So how's the sweat management of this bra? Well, I mean, it's not cotton, it's like spandex, like 80% spandex. So definitely it's more like quick dry, I think maybe is that the term? Like you basically could work out and get sweaty and you wouldn't feel like it's sticky. But you you should still shower because hygiene is very important. For me, I've tried a lot of sports bras from fast fashion brands like Forever 21, H&M, Uniqlo, Cotton On. And right now I'm wearing something from Forever 21. I don't know if you can see. The padding is sticking through. And this is what I'm talking about when I say thin padding because as time goes by, as the material starts to stretch, you know, as you keep washing it, you can kind of see the padding that pokes through. But I will say in terms of support, I think the support is pretty decent actually. You can go running in this, you can do your high impact workouts in this, you can also do your low impact workouts and I can wear it in and out of the gym. It's very comfortable because the material is very soft. In terms of the overall like durability, the fact that this has lasted me a good like two to almost three years I'd say, it's a pretty decent find. I think I got it for about like $30 to $40 like in that range. I think in general for like fast fashion sports brands, it's a bit of a hit and miss because a lot of them are actually pretty good quality and give you decent support. There's some of them that are really stylish and very pretty but don't give you the same kind of support. So you were saying like you also got it from Uniqlo, right? Yes, I really, really, really like this bra. Mm. Um, Probably one of my favourite bras that I own actually because of the inbuilt padding. Oh. And it's very similar to yeah. yours as well. It definitely keeps everything in place. When you're bouncing, if you're jumping, if you're running, um, this just holds everything together. I have yet to come across like a sports bra within this price range category that provides me this much support. Actually, it's from their Arism um, oh. brand. I think the thing about the Arism technology is that the sweat evaporates very, very quickly. It doesn't leave that damn feeling that you might feel, you know, on the underneath your boobs, mm. you know, the under boob sweat. Yeah, that's so cool. I'm definitely going to check it out. And then yeah. you can check out this. Yeah. And then you can tell me which one is better. Okay. Right. Yes. See, yeah. this is like why we're doing this together. So we're sharing like bra secrets. So for someone who has a smaller chest, I would still recommend this sports bra because the one great thing about being flat chested or being on the smaller side is that you can kind of play around with all different kinds of sports bras. You don't really need so much support. This is just one go-to bra that really fits like all different kinds of, of shapes. So right now, we're going to talk about expensive sports bras. Anything from $50 and above, I personally consider expensive sports bras. You should not be paying more than $100 for your sports bras. I think that is daylight rubbery. My absolute favourite sports bra is this one from Adidas. I know that people are always surprised when I say this because I don't think they're known for sports bras. I love this so much that the pink is no longer really pink. It's kind of like... Dirty pink? Dirty pink. (laughs) Dusty pink. Oh, I like like the way you like (laughs) PR'd it. So, I mean, I really like this because um, this has the best support I have ever worn. It's really like well supported around the sides so that uh, when you jump or like do anything, it doesn't hurt at all. It's surprising because when you touch it, you may feel like, oh, maybe it's just a normal bra, cute cross back, but it's like the best support ever. And I think the support is comparable to my other expensive bra from Lululemon because Lululemon has amazing support. The only thing about the Lululemon that makes it not cross over to being my favourite bra is that the padding is movable. Look, it's folded right now. You know why? It just came out of the washing machine. I just feel like you should sew it in. Yeah. Because it's not like 
no other bra manufacturer does it, you know, like mm. it can be done. So I feel like it should be done for like a high end bra. Mm. Look at how thick the straps are. Oh, yeah. So all these, sometimes you see like cross back bras, the cross is just for show or for design. Mm -hmm. These crosses, when you wear them, they are snug. They are oh, there yeah. to really support you. And it also has this like clasp. Yeah, clasp. Yeah, so, so clasp in it. if you feel like you lost a bit of weight, mm. You can like make it tighter or if you I feel like you need that. a bit more support. It, and it's quite rare, right? It is. It's very rare to find sports bras with this kind of class. Like how you get it from like a normal bra. The good thing is that it makes it easier to take off after the workout. I think in general, just like crisscross bags are very good for support. Because if you have just like the normal straps, yes, it does give you a bit of that lift. But with crisscross bags, you know, it actually lifts it but also pushes it together. So it gives you that full support. Yeah, it makes a huge, huge, huge difference. Yeah. Just in terms of how much pain you're in at the end of the workout. Yeah. yeah. So I guess in the more expensive price range, Adidas and Lululemon are the ones that I feel I would drop serious cash on. Ah, okay, that's really interesting because I personally don't really like Adidas sports bras. I have tried a couple of them in the really? past. I actually personally like their competitor brand Nike a lot more. I think that Nike does an amazing job with their you know, high impact line. If you're looking for a running bra, it's this Nike is definitely a hands down like best running bras. Even their lighter support ones are awesome for running. What I love the most about this sports bra is that they have this like it looks like underwire, right? Yeah. But it's not. There's no like metal inside at all. It's kind of like a spongy, like thicker kind of material that gives you that sensation of like a support underneath. Unlike a lot of other sports bras that kind of just like lift your boobs, this actually holds them individually and lifts them. Yeah, I can yeah. see that because you see like this is not something I've actually ever seen in a sports bra before, but it's got, what is that? Like a... Almost like an extra like thicker padding here yeah. and then thinner this side. But yeah, this yeah. is actually great because it gives you that extra your volume. Yeah, I mean this is something you would find in like a normal, like a push-up bra or this is what I'm thinking yeah. of. So if you're someone who's really busty, you know, this is a great sports bra because it actually helps to support your boobs. It lifts your boobs up individually. So if you're running or doing any kind of like high impact activity, you'll be assured that your boobs are not going to fly everywhere. Yeah, these are my go-to like very like bulletproof bras. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Bulletproof, bulletproof bras. bras. <laughs> Alright, but my favourite, favourite, favourite sports bras is the Lana Jane sports bras. It's the one I'm wearing right now. I just think that they provide the best support. I have one in a different design. Even though these are thin straps, you'll be surprised at how much support they give your boobs. Oh wow, and the padding is so And not only that, thick. the padding, the padding is just like out of this world. What I like about these pads, even though they are not sewn to the sports bras per se, but they are thick and they are good quality padding, so they never ever fold when I put them in the washer. Oh my goodness, it's like a pillow! Yeah, it's like a pillow. It's a pillow for your nipples. Yeah! It's so nice. And the great thing about Lana Jane is that they have a huge range of sizes. They have everything from XS to XXL. This is definitely an amazing quality sports bra that is actually worth like spending the money to get. And the good thing about Lana Jane is that they also have come in a range of designs. So you have this pretty detailing and with this sports bra, like the back of it. Oh yeah, yeah. it's like a netted back. Like in terms of sports bras, you know, you look at a lot of different brands and they don't have the kind of design range that Lana Jane has. And it comes in a very wide range of bright colours, which is not common in other brands. This is a brand from Australia actually. Yeah, I was gonna say like, I've heard of the brand, but I thought you couldn't get it here. Yeah, they do have one store in Singapore, but you know, a lot of the Lana Jane stuff are usually they sell at studios or you buy online. But how does it perform in a workout like in terms of like sweat management and all that because it is more like clothy than the other brands, does that make sense? This has really really good sweat management. Personally I don't feel sticky when I'm working out, it handles sweat really well, I could run in these, I could do high impact work in it in general. The sweat management is great. Just in terms of cheap versus expensive sports bras, okay, what would you think is the most worth spending your money on? I think I need at least one really good sports bra. So I would be willing to invest in like at least one. And then I think it's okay to supplement it with like the mid-range ones. Like the one that I have from Yoga, right? Mm. I definitely think I could wear that on a regular basis. Uh, but for some very high impact sports, I think for me, because especially because I've worked out with bad sports bras and I can feel the difference and I'm just not willing to put my body through that, yeah. I would actually invest in a good pair. Personally, I believe that the sports bra is the most important like piece of like clothing in your entire workout gear. Right. It becomes the thing that I become willing to like spend on. Similarly, I also do feel that you know it's good to kind of have that range of moderately priced ones to a bit more high like more expensive ones and especially if you're doing like high impact sports. When I was kind of flat chested, you can kind of get away with buying cheaper sports bra that don't really give you that much support. All you need is kind of like 
like a, a sports bra that kind of like covers your nipples. But if you have like larger like chest, then I would pay the extra price to invest in something that provides me with that lift and that support. It comes down to buying less things but buying good things. Yeah. yeah. So that's all we have for today's episode. I hope you found these tips useful the next time you go sports bra shopping. And of course, thank you so much, Jen, for coming on the show Thanks and for, for showing me. everyone your bras. Thanks for showing me your bras. Oh yes, and if there are any brands or places to shop that we have like not covered because we don't know, mm. or especially if you know where to buy cheap and really good bras, please mm -hmm. hit us up in the comment section. I really want to know. We will be eternally grateful. Yeah, and of course, if you haven't done so yet, please remember to click the subscribe button and the little bell so you always get a notification every time we post a new video. And you know the drill, download the Quick Network app so you can watch all our videos right when they come out, even before they go on YouTube. Yeah, so I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye! Bye.